This is a lot. There is so much to get going. I feel like I have seven children. I really do. Buckle up, kids. Mama needs her egg bats. Damn, it turned into dusk real quick up in here. Oh, wow. There's like cliff on both sides. I don't feel like rolling off the cliff tonight. Hi, I'm Montana Dana, and I'm traveling full-time in my music studio, She Shed on Wheels. Today, I work from home at Lake Havasu, make friends with a little roadrunner, do a workout, write a slightly inappropriate song, and then get stuck on a cliff at dusk and struggle to make it back to camp. Subscribe and turn on the bell for notifications and give this video a thumbs up. Good morning, friends. No, I'm not wearing the same outfit I had on last night. Oh, yes, yes, I am. I am doing that. I was at Walmart, and some kid called me a bad I'm gonna wear this every freaking day. I already cleaned up for the morning and I just wanted to like get down by the lake and edit down here today. It's a little bit cloudy, but I got my candles lit. Just doing a work day and getting my goals in. Have you guys been following the program? Have you been setting your goals and sticking to them? Just remember this is about progress and not perfection. So if you miss one of your goals, you're good restart clean slate every single morning i've been doing pretty good with my goals so far but i know there will be those days when i miss a couple of my goals and that's okay we need to be gentle on ourselves i really want to get into the gym tonight i haven't done a gym workout in a really long time and also i really want to bathe my body well let's check out the view this morning it's quite a lovely one on the lake Oh, baby. I was parked over by that lighthouse the other day, but I just wanted to switch it off. It's nice hearing the boats in the background and you can kind of hear people giggling and talking and it's just a really nice, relaxing vibe. It's a Sunday. People are just out here enjoying life. Such good vibes. Speaking of missing our goals. So yesterday I was filming and totally intended on writing in my journal, but I got so busy flying my drone and hanging out with friends that I didn't actually write in my journal. Actually writing in my journal this morning, right? now oh it's so nice just being able to go wherever i want and have my home with me it's like blows it blows my mind sometimes i have all the comforts of my home but i get to be at the lake today it's so great it's like my introvert dream look i even wrote out saturday march 4th that's as much as i got progress over perfection uh sunday march 5th definitely want to go on a longer walk today. I saw some bike paths over there. I feel safe in this area. At my parking spot, I don't feel as safe wandering around just because I heard some um, questionable creatures in the night. I'm such a wuss. I need to hike with people or I just need to go to the concrete jungle like today. This is the vibe we're working with today. I can still have dreamy canopy vibes, but without the wind blowing everything over, it's quite lovely. I just hung up some curtains. I just fastened them with those little chip clips. This little guy, I love this thing. It's a whole vibe. It's a dreamy morning vibe. Well, I wrote in my journal and I'm feeling like there's infinite possibilities today. And that's the reason I write in my journal. It just gets me in a really good mindset and ah, I'm ready for this day. I'm ready for it. It also helps me just appreciate, just be in the moment and appreciate my surroundings and this beautiful life I get to live every single day. Ooh, I see some blue skies popping through. I'm going to pop off for a little bit and edit yesterday's TikTok and get it posted because that is one of my goals. I'm also picking one song a week and recording it to iTunes and Spotify quality. So working on that at least an hour a day, even if I'm not vibing or in the flow or feeling it, I have to just do it. It's very hard when I'm working on a creative thing because it's very like inspired, but sometimes you just have to sit down and allow it to come to you and make space, make space for it. I've been hanging out with my hippie friends a lot. You can tell, I know, I know. I'm also making some space in my tummy for egg bites later. I got groceries at the beginning of the week and kind of blew through them. So I've been eating out most meals. So I've been eating chipotle and bacon egg bites. That's been, that's been my diet. And then some healthy snacks like almonds and figs and uh, fruit stuff like that. But I'm not following a diet. If you're just starting your program and you want to lose weight, you probably want to be pretty strict with your diet. My metabolism is at a place right now where I can have a few meals a week that aren't 100% whole foods and my body responds well. It's fine. For me, I had to be pretty strict with my diet in the beginning, especially because I was addicted to so many things, addicted to sugar, especially, and, and wheat. Like the sugar and bread combo, I just had to cut it out of my diet. I noticed big results when I did the keto diet for a couple weeks, and now I eat whole foods. I do two different types of meals. I do high fat, high protein, or high carbs, high protein together. I try not to do a high fat and a high carb meal together. With that said, you gotta do what feels good for you and your body. I'm not a nutritionist, so I cannot recommend nutrition advice, but I can tell you what I'm doing, and it's worked for me for a while. I also do intermittent fasting, where I just drink coffee in the morning, 
morning and I do that until about noon. Um, I've been doing that for years and years and it's just, my body is so used to that. I'm not even hungry in the mornings. Those are just a couple things I do, do not do as I do. You're gonna have to do your own research on the diet side of things, but I can give you some tips, tips and tricks. All right, gonna edit and post my TikTok and I'll see you guys at Egg Bite 30. I don't know, I might make oatmeal because it's pretty dreamy here. I might wanna stay. My chest muscles are sore. That's how long it's been since I've worked out my upper body. Yesterday I did a full body workout and push-ups were included. <sighs> I think my lower body is pretty strong still, but my upper body is not at all. That, are you guys feeling sore? Have you been doing workouts? Oh my gosh, I can hardly open up my arms. Ooh, the sun's coming out. I might have to put this down. Just have that view, yes. There are people around, so it's kind of weird to just advertise my whole entire house to the world, but Everyone's here for the same reason. It's a beautiful day on the lake. I mean, come on. Are you singing to me? Is that a roadrunner? What kind of bird is that? Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Are you my friend? Did we just become best friends? You're cute. Hi, birdie. best friend. a coffee on my patio this morning. Thank you so much for asking. Oh yeah. I'm gonna reuse my Starbucks cup from yesterday. You guys, I'm excited. Okay, here's my vision. I have a marble chopping block. I wanna get a little butane stove, put it out here and cook on it with a view. Is that a great idea or what? And then I can boil my coffee with that instead of using this. I don't really love the idea of cooking with butane or propane, but out of my back patio, sign me up we're just doing instant coffee because all my dishes are dirty that is why i'm using yesterday's starbucks cup i have to figure out how to wash my stuff i might buy a plastic bin and some biodegradable washing soap and just soak everything and then rinse it off with fresh water still trying to figure it all out coffee time goals in right away feel so feel so accomplished speaking of i haven't gotten any work done the mood just struck i set up my little dreamy patio i wanted to make a coffee and edit and then i grabbed my ukulele and just started writing that song so i have a conundrum i'm getting hungry i have intermittent fasted it's 1 p.m and i got a hanger in for some egg bites but i'm really loving this vibe right now i don't want to blow out my candles i don't want to put all this in drive mode what do i do i have some healthy options i have applesauce i have granola i have citrus and i have oatmeal 
we're gonna egg bite yeah okay here's the deal i want my bacon egg bites and i was gonna go to the gym later but i don't want to drive back into town twice so i'm just gonna do my workout here today it's beautiful i do have a lot of neighbors so it's a little embarrassing i guess i could close my hatch and work out inside but I'm just gonna do it, whatever. Let them laugh. I'm gonna be laughing when you can bounce a dime off my ass, you know what I'm saying? But yes, gonna do a workout here at this beautiful place. Why not? And then I'll be really, really hungry and those bacon egg bites are gonna just taste divine. Now I did a full body workout yesterday. I was gonna swap it for a cardio day, but I'm just gonna do another full body workout. I need to get a bike and I need to find a rollerblading path and I like to do the elliptical. So maybe I'll do that as well tonight. I don't know, I still wanna go shower, but I just feel like working out right now, so. It's what I'm gonna do. It's really nice out. I'm gonna get what I want. To kind of a cardio session lots of jump squats and i just kept doing movement after movement no rest she's sweaty yep she is sweating i just did a 10 minute circuit gonna do it two more times and then we'll go get food i almost committed a cardinal van life sin i was about to drive away because i glanced in the door i was like everything looks fine my ukulele is off the wall is that a burning candle and a full cup of beverage on my piano top yes why yes it is full cup of coffee would have just gone everywhere on my white shine carpets and everything yeah it's not gonna be that kind of day we are having a good day we got most of our goals in we have bacon egg bites in our future i mean that's the type of day we're going to have none of this coffee all over my white carpet bullshit that is not the type of day we are ever going to have in van life thank you very much actually there was quite a bit of stuff i needed to put back there we go where's the garbage oh Oh, shoot. I almost forgot to latch my drawers. We gotta latch our drawers. Or all our stale granola is gonna come flying out all over the floor. Good night. This is gonna scrape that. Put that there. My poor microphone finally broke. My microphone didn't break, the stand broke. Which is a way better fix than having to replace the whole microphone. Very sweaty from that workout. Whew. It's been a while. Oh, I always forget about this guy too can go down there. I think we're good. I mean, Ralph is doing his thing. I'm getting a cramp in my foot. Why do I always get a cramp in my foot? I was trying to avoid tripping over my coffee, so I twisted my foot in a weird way. Owie, owie, owie. Why is that hurt so bad? It hurts. It hurts. Ow, it's just like flexed right here. Stop, stop it, stop it, stop it. Do you guys ever get that? I get it occasionally. Oh. And then I almost forgot my beverage. Oh my gosh. Okay, do we have everything? But for real though, garbage stay. Man, the shit I am willing to do on a Sunday for some bagel bites. It's a lot. It's a lot getting going in down life, but I'm hungry, so. <sighs> oh. I just got plugged in and closed my door. And look, I almost left my freaking coffee on the front. Hood. This is a lot. It's so much to get going. I feel like I have seven children. I really do. Buckle up, kids. Mama needs her egg bats. I'm excited to be so well traveled in the states where I know where all the spots are. Like I'm going to Starbucks and I still have to navigate to get there, so it's just one extra step. I feel like all the places I've stayed before though, like I know where my spots are. I know where I can get good internet. I know where I can shower. I know where the Planet Fitness is, 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 is are. So I'm kind of getting used to this city a little bit. I actually really like Lake Havasu. It's pretty. It's desert. It's got the heat and the warmth and the beauty. It's got a Chipotle, but it does not have Trader Joe's. Hmm. It kind of reminds me of my hometown. We went out last night and it was just like dive bar scene. So there's a lot of that going on. There's also a lot of touristy stuff. I'm plugging my Jackery. Hold on tight, hold tight. I want another Jackery so I can run my fridge, but I might instead just break down and buy an actual solar system and put it on my rig. And if I get a new rig eventually, then I'll take it off and use it on the new rig. Guys, this carrying the jackeries back and forth 
it's just an extra step that would be so lovely to not have to do. But anyway, I gotta navigate to uh, Starbucks, so I'll see you later. Like for instance, had I known there was no parking at this Starbucks, I would not have come here. I will find my rhythm eventually in this town. And then the next time I visit, it'll be so much easier. Should I just double park here like a complete jerk? I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. I'm such a baddie. Oh my God, I'm such a Walmart baddie today. People can get by, I'm not being rude. I will only be in there like five to 10 minutes. I am justifying my poor behavior. I'm doing it, go. Go down, 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 no, no, no. Oh my god, the acoustics in this Starbucks bathroom. Listen. Hold me close and hold me fast. This magic spell you cast. This is La Rose. It's kind of like Elf, where she's singing in the shower. It's a life work. Should I bring in my microphone? Bathroom sessions with Dana. Mission complete. Yes. Okay, well I guess I know I can park here if it's like a temporary park. Totally fine. I'm having a little analysis paralysis because I don't know if I should fix my overdrawn lap or if I should go to the gym and shower, which would be lovely. I'm still very sweaty from my workout. And working out in spandex in the hot sun makes me feel some type of way. Like I need a shower stat type of way. Where's my damn lip gloss? <laughs> Here it is. Or should I just drive back down to the water and meet up with friends? It's my friend Brian's birthday. But then I feel lame meeting up with friends because I always sit in my van and then edit for nine hours. And I just, I'm so serious about my goals and so focused and so passionate it is sometimes hard for me to friendship it really is it's a blessing and a curse because I get a lot done I'm a very productive person when I do hang out with my friends it's extra special and I love it as well like I love being social but when everyone's like sitting around the campfire drinking I'm like I'm going to my van and I'm writing a song I don't know it just it's my personality I'm just kind of an introvert I love to go out and hang I love to go out and dance I don't drink really, like very, very rarely do I drink. So just going out to the bar is not that fun for me if it's a club and there's dancing and there are lights and there's good music. Like last night was fun because there was live music. There needs to be like an activity. If alcohol is the activity, I'm not extremely interested, but I love hanging out with people. I love hanging out with friends. I love going out. I love getting dressed up, but I'm so much in work mode right now and I just really prioritize my time and I feel bad because that sometimes means I'm not hanging out with my friends that I just made, but just trying to follow what feels right in my gut and not compromise myself. I typically will compromise myself to please other people and then I give up bits of myself, which isn't fair to the people around me either because then like I don't want to resent them for that. So I'm just trying to stay really true to what I want and what my goals are and stay focused. But I do want to go say hello to everybody. I don't want to be antisocial. I do love people. I love my friends. I love meeting new people. There's so much to learn from them and experience with them. I'm just not willing to give up my my goals right now. I'm like, I'm, I'm focused. I'm laser focused. The lovely part of this lifestyle is I can go wherever. I can do whatever I want, whenever I want to. So I can both hang out with friends, but then go back to my rig and do my introvert edit and me time. And it's, it's just really, really, really great because I can be social and antisocial at the same time. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I'm going to go back to the water and eat my bagel bites and say hello to my friends and then edit and then go shower and shave every square inch of my body. What type of crack cocaine are they putting in these things? I think it's the cheese. They're so good. I just got honked at because I'm driving too slow. Sorry, I'm trying to blonde and drive an egg bite all at the same time. It's not as easy as it looks. So that's two orders of egg bites, lots of protein, and if you eat them with your fingers, you get two complimentary forks for other meals later. Win, win, win. So like I was saying earlier, I'll do a high fat, lots of protein meal or a high carb, lots of protein meal. My body seems to respond well to that. I was keto for a while. My body really responded to that weight loss wise. But I did Turn left into the parking lot, then prepare to park your car. Okay. You will need to walk to your destination from there. Okay. Proceed to the route. Oh, shut up, Siri. I'm done with you. So like I was saying, I was keto for a while. The weight loss was there and I stayed really fit and I had enough energy as long as I wasn't working out. But when I would work out, I would feel like I needed 
just a little more sustenance. So I started doing high carb, high protein meal or a high fat, high protein meal. And my body has stayed really fit without exercising. I think my metabolism is pretty high because I have worked out for so long and so much of my life. But this is me realizing I'm driving out to the end of a cliff and I'm going to have to back out. Look where we're heading though. I'm on the edge. Yeah, I'm going out to the edge. Oh, how pretty. How absolutely divine is this spot? I can always drive over by my friends, but I'm gonna go for a walk and get my steps in and go see my friends and bring my bagel bite. I keep saying bagel bites. Bring my egg bite. I feel like we could easily roll off this cliff. I think I'm gonna put the little blocks in front of my tires. I absolutely never use them, but I think this, this is the time. Yep. Oh my gosh, Sebastian and Toad, you guys are looking so cute. When I broke down in Calhoun, Georgia, the guy who changed my transmission gave me these things. I cleaned the spider webs out of this one, but <laughs> it was so nice of him. He was like, this girl needs some help right now. So those go there. Hopefully don't forget those later. And this goes here. Now we have a lesser chance of rolling off the cliff. Great, I love that. You guys be good. I'm gonna take my big nail bites and I'm gonna walk over there. Do you guys see them? In the distance, there's my friends. I mean, there's room for me to park somewhere, but. I'm getting my steps in. Put your hips into it, girls. How cute does everybody look? I mean, come on. I said hi to the peeps, met a few really cute puppies, and I'm just gonna go. This guy's staring at me. I guess I'm talking to myself. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go back to my rig and focus and edit for a few hours. We're going out to sushi at six. So I gotta get some work done. Like it is imperative that I get some work done right now. Oh my gosh. Look at this. This fell out of here. How lucky was that that it fell just like that oh my gosh it must have gone over quite the bump i cannot believe my gemstones are still intact Holy crap. how did that even happen okay i have to edit and upload a video i've been playing all day having loads of fun ralph i thought we said it wasn't gonna be this type of day we had our seven o'clock meeting and we talked about this Ralph is going to be fired. I really want to sushi with friends. So get some work done and then we'll go. brain break. I just wanted to step out and look into the distance. I've been looking at my computer for the last couple hours. Oh, it's so pretty. We got a little sailboat and sunsets happening. Oh, my booty is sore and so are my abs. I didn't even do abs. I guess I did planks and stuff like that, but just stretching it out. Oh my gosh. Gonna do some of these and a little bit of those. <laughs> I forgot that I changed my goal. I don't even need to get 10,000 steps in. It's good to get it in, but flying my drone is my new goal instead of 10,000 steps. Cause I figure with all the hiking I'll be doing and the workouts I'll be getting my 10,000 steps in, but it's a good reminder just to move the body. I never know what time it is in Arizona. I was so close to the California border that my phone was picking up California time, but everybody was meeting on Arizona time. So by the time I was ready to leave for dinner, they had already eaten. Good times, good times. I guess it's going to be lentils. Room temperature lentils at that for dinner. I need to get a butane stove. I'm gonna order one on Amazon and find a place to pick it up. Damn, it turned into dusk real quick up in here. I forgot I'm on the edge of a cliff and I need to back up. So I want to do that while there's an itty bitty bit of daylight left. Oh wow. 
This is way harder to see than I expected. There's like cliff on both sides. I'm seriously just gonna go like 10 feet. I have to get out and check. I don't feel like rolling off the cliff tonight. Okay. Um, there's less cliff on the right side. Stay inside the bushes. Okay, got it. Backing this thing up is hard enough as it is. Oh my God. How are we doing? <laughs> I hired my driver. My driver keeps on calling in sick. I don't know what his deal is. It's so hard to back up with a trailer. When your trailer's going the correct way, it doesn't necessarily mean your Suburban is going the correct way. Ooh, Suburban is on the edge. Okay, I think I'm good. As I was trying to back up off the cliff, the guy from the Team Jesus rig from earlier today pulled up and decided to help me back up. It was so sweet of him. That way. Okay. That way. Yeah. Straight. Straight? Yeah. Okay. Ugh, fuck. Yeah. Going. Good. Good. Driving. Yeah. Yeah, it's so hard with the trailer. And I'm like cliffs on each side. I know, it's very dangerous. Ah. It's very dangerous to by yourself. I know. So when I pulled into this spot, I knew it was going to be tricky to back up, but it didn't look that dangerous. But at night, without backup cameras and stuff, it was very, very tricky. <laughs> Note to self, back into a spot like this from now on, so at night I can just pull out with my headlights. Right by the, the light. Okay, I'll do that. Yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <sighs> He's like, I know how hard it is. He's like, it's very dangerous. I'm trying to go towards your lights, eh? Yeah. Ah, what a nightmare. I should have done this in the daylight. That was dumb. Come on. Come on. Come on. Is there? Okay. Yeah, keep coming. What's your name? My name's John. John, I'm Dana. Nice to meet Dana, you. Nice Thank to meet you so much. Where are you going to park today? I'm um, with my friends. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because there was a spot I was going to show you. Oh, you nice. Know. Yeah, they were all parked over there, but I had to get some work done. Oh, so. uh, okay. <laughs> All right, well, you take care, well, Thank Anna. you so much, John. God that was you. so nice of you. God I was like, you. once I, I stepped out, I was like, it is dark out. Oh, I know. Crap. It's, it's dangerous here at night. Oh, uh, yeah, it really yeah, is. It's dark. Cliffs on each side, yeah. yeah. Take care. Have a good night. Well, that was quite the pickle I just put myself in. Oh, my gosh, that guy was so sweet. I'm pretty sure I have, like, 15 guardian angels because some of the situations I get into, I swear. Um... Okay, it's time to put L brackets on this thing. It's quite a bumpy road getting to this parking spot. What am I doing? Oh, just editing. Oh my gosh, my couch too. Dying. Easy kids, easy, easy. Oh, it's so much work to van life sometimes. Especially when you're blonde and you build a van yourself without help. But you know what? I'm doing it. I'm doing it. It's not the perfect journey, but I'm doing it. You know that feeling when you know you're gonna wake up and your whole body's gonna hurt? Oh God, that's, that's gonna happen. My legs and my chest kind of hurt, but everything else is like, it just feels mushy gushy. I'm gonna hurt tomorrow. But that's what you get when you don't work out for several months in a row. I have a couple times, but I haven't consistently worked out and I did like five days in a row this week. Are you getting in your goals? I hope so. Oh. oh. I'm going to be so sore too because I did not stretch. It's so important to stretch after you work out. So much lactic acid in my muscles. You know when just bringing your knees up to your chest hurts, it's going to be an issue in the morning. I need to do a little more cardio next time I work out because I've been doing all like body weight stuff. Anyway, I'm boring myself talking about this, obviously. What is a good word for today? I don't know. I blacked out for half the day. Let's play Would You Rather. Would you rather do squats in spandex in public or eat room temperature lentils out of a bag? If you made it this far in the video, tell me 
would you rather? And if you do comment, I will write you back because that's what I do. Maybe in a few days and maybe in a week. I'm very busy, but I like to write you back and see what's up. I just thank you for commenting on my video because it, it means a lot. It's fun to interact and know who's watching and like have a conversation because I'm always talking to myself to my camera. Anyway, that's it for today's video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, tell your friends, tell the people. If you don't follow me on Instagram and TikTok, I'm posting a little, little produced videos on there. They're very fun. They're very fun to make. They're silly and goofy and just quick and just like a condensed version of this, but more entertaining probably. But this is more just like we're chilling, hanging out with my buddies, chatting. Anyway, good night. Thank you for watching. Love ya. I hope you are having a beautiful day. Like wherever you're doing, I hope you can just sit there and be like, ah, my life is good today. I hope that's what's happening for you. Anyway, love ya. See you tomorrow.